morning, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you something very interesting for my fellow mom shoppers. I went to three different stores, yes, three different stores in the US and I will show you what I bought. Also, I will show you the receipts, how much I've spent in the time frame of I think two hours or so. Trust me, it's a lot of money. I know, I don't need no judgment in the comments, but I guess that's what I do on my rest days. I went, I go shopping and I spend a lot of money. So let's go and I will put everything in three different piles so you would see exactly what I bought. Okay, so this is what I got at Home Goods. And yes, I will show you in detail. Then right here is what I got at Target. I also went to Fruitful Yield for Food, so I will show you as well what I got there. So let's go. Okay, I will tell you right now that at Target I actually bought a, a little bit of food, so something from pancakes, mayonnaise, um, blueberries, bananas, apples, and that sort of stuff, but I will not show you the food right now. I will show you whenever I show the Fruitful Yield haul. So in Target, I have spent a total of $376. Yes, I know that's a lot of money, but I needed a couple things and here it is. I bought two of the clocks for my kids, bedrooms, you know, all of them are going to some kind of school. My son is starting, you know, a regular kindergarten next year. And so I bought two of my kids clocks of course they wanted a toy of some sort and because i have told them before that i will not be buying toys today for them but uh, something like this so a play tent right here i thought it will be fun and interesting for them to play in my son's room also for my daughter so my daughter on monday is getting her bed delivered and i will try to add a picture for you here of her new bed so right now she doesn't have a bed she sleeps on a mattress and finally because we did order her bed from europe it took i think four or five months to be made and delivered so monday is the delivery day and i bought her a night light because she will be sleeping in her bed, hopefully the whole night. We will see it. Uh, then, of course, just some simple things like socks and underwear for my kids. And then something for me as well. And I cannot believe how expensive these things are. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy how expensive women, just like creams and beauty things are. Don't you think? Well, I think so anyway. So I got two things actually. The vegan collagen overnight recovery cream and also vegan collagen serum complex. So here these things are. They look very cute, very good. And I hope that they moisturize my face. Also, because of course my daughter is getting a new bed, she needs pillows. I do have, you know, the... The covers for the pillows already and i will show what you can see in the picture probably i hope here <laughs> so two pillows and the most expensive thing that i bought today for my son he wanted something like this for a while but you know they're expensive this is like 70 dollars so here it is for his room very cute, very boyish, and he's very excited about it. So this is half from Target, and I will show you the food later, but right now, let's go to my favorite store, Home Good. Who else likes shopping? Like, who doesn't really? I think that should be the question. Okay, so. Let's go to Home Goods. At Home Goods, I've spent $136. So it's not as much as a Target, but I got pretty cute things for my daughter's room mainly. And also something for the birds and something for the Easter money. But first, I need a drink. I need 
a drink. Come on. For the first time, actually, I bought something like an energy drink. You know, I don't like coffee, so this is like my coffee. It is way too sweet. It's way too sweet for me. So let's continue to the haul. First thing I will show you is something that I got for the birds. For the birds, so for the spring, right? New baby birds. For the birds to have babies and I can feed them and the kids can feed them and enjoy them. So here is the first one. Here is the second one, <gasps> right? Okay, so I got these two for my girl to pick out the toy shit that she wants to keep in her room and have toys with her. So she's gonna put some toys in here and also a couple toys in here. Uh, just, you know, so she could have some toys. She has a lot of toys right now, but because her room became a playroom because, you know, there's a lot of space, there's no bed. But right now there will be a bed and not a lot of, not a lot of space for toys. And she will have to just organize her toys right here and she will have to enjoy and play with them. Also, bought some decorations for the table. So right now I have Valentine's Day decorations still up, but right now I will have to decorate with these cute little bunnies. And this is the decoration for right now. So just a, a heart that says love and some flowers. I will have to take away the heart and I will put these right here. And this is gonna be, of course, I'm gonna have to take off the price, but it's gonna be my Easter decorations. <laughs> Cute, right? Let's continue, shall we? So I showed you the birdhouses, the toys, and then I bought some of these little like cubbies for socks and underwear in their closets just to get them organized because she you only have no she doesn't have any organization in her room yet. And of course the cutest thing that she picked out for her room, she has something on her walls and I will show you in just a second actually I will take you to her room and I will show you what I'm talking about and you can see the before and after right in this video. So she picked out this. Isn't it just like the cutest thing for a girl in her bedroom? I think so. Very cute. And also a large pillow, very soft, very cuddly for her naps and also to be on the side of her bed that says she wouldn't fall out of bed because it's the first time she's gonna be in like a big girl's bed. So let's go and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is her bed right now. She really just falls asleep in in her bedroom and then she kind of comes to my bed and sleeps with me. But I thought this painting right here, when she picked it out, I'm like, it's gonna go so well right here. In the middle, right? I think so. Very cute. Of course, her room has a decoration right behind you. Here is her room's decorations. And the toys, of course, like I said, it's a playroom right here. It became a playroom, you know, because it's an empty room. And then she has these decorations right here and she's gonna have the painting and the bed. Okay, and last but not least, I went to the Fruitful Yield to buy some food and I have spent $106 at Fruitful Yield buying food. So of course, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I cannot live without certain things. And these are Upton's bacon. Yes, I eat this every single day. If you want your protein up, buy this. 
I also bought some bananas for freezing. Yes, these were on sale ripe bananas because they are the best to freeze. Of course, the Upton's bacon does not go without just egg. So these two together usually make my protein happen throughout the day if I want to, you know, have more protein and gain some muscle. These two are my go-tos always. And then of course, my Nugo bars. So you know that I eat at least two of these a day. These are my dessert, but also high in protein. 12 grams of protein and I buy the chocolate almond with sea salt. Beans, I bought of course a vegan um, margarita pizza just for like a snack on the weekend. I bought some new cereal. I haven't seen this company before. They look great, so we'll try them out and see if we like them. I bought a lot of seitan bacon. Like I told you, like I cannot live without this stuff. It's so good. Also bought some cherries because my daughter really wanted some frozen cherries. And then just egg has these as well. So not only the liquid version, but they actually have the egg made and you can heat it up in like um, wherever you want to heat it up actually. <laughs> bought some cream cheese and some butter. Okay, so this is everything that I bought at Fruitful Yield right here. And then I will show you the Target, right? So you know that I spent a lot of money at Target and that is because I bought half food, half just fun stuff, whatever I wanted to buy. So I bought some salsa because I want to make some tacos. I saw a nice recipe online which I will be trying. Also, so some yogurt, because I love yogurt with pancakes. And like I said, mayonnaise and blueberries, apples, of course. And then I bought these bagel fins. They're very good if you put on cream cheese, some nutritional yeast, then put them in a microwave for like 40 seconds. The kids love them. More mayonnaise because I cannot. Some chips. Who next? Sugar-free, calorie. It's only five calories for two tablespoons. Some syrup because I eat this a lot with pancakes. And I am going on somewhat of a diet next week. And then some oranges some pasta, more pasta. Pancakes, of course. And Lara bars for the kids. Tonight's dinner, burgers. That is it. That is it, you guys. That's all that I bought. This is everything that I bought today. You can add up all of the numbers that I told you and you can see the total. It is a lot of money. I did buy a lot of things and you know, it's not every single week that you need three pillows and you need paintings on the wall. You know what I mean? So this is, that's why I wanted to film this video and show you what I bought at three different stores, Home Goods, Target and Fruitful Yield. A lot of nice things. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Have the best day and I'll see you next one. Bye.